Now we are going to look at how you can incorporate exit rules into some basic strategies. Now that you've initiated a trade, you've done half the work. Now you're ready for the second half. How do you exit the trade? You have three types of possible exits. One, you make money. This is a profit exit. Two, you lose money. This is a stop loss. Three, you run out of time. This is a timeout. Let's start by looking at an example of a profit exit. Make 25 basis points. Recall that 100 basis points equals 1%. This means that you want to make a 0.25% return. Suppose you bought at 100. Your trading objective is to sell at 100.25. Here's another example of a profit exit. Buy at 100 sell at 103 for a 3% profit. You make 300 basis points. Certainly you're more excited about making $3 per share than just 25 cents per share. However, you also realize this rule has a harder time of getting done if the market starts to move in the other direction. In the example shown of buying Apple at 203.88 and selling it at 210, you would have to wait almost two weeks to exit your trade. You set your profit exit at a level where two things happen. First, you cover all market costs, such as bid-ask spread, any brokerage commissions, and exchange fees. Second, you can capture a desired level of profit. This level comes from the difference between the entry and exit points, less market cost. Your goal is to get profited out and earn at least your required return on trading capital. Your worst outcome is getting stopped out. Suppose you got the direction wrong and the market moves against you. You want to exit the trade with as little pain as possible. Here's an example of a stop loss. Close the position, you're down 150 basis points. Getting in at 100, you would get stopped out at 98.50. When you're profited out, you make money. When you're stopped out, you lose money. You can also get timed out. This means you ran out of time. Suppose you were only allowed to hold the trade intraday. That means that you have to close your position by the end of the day. If prices do not move too much, you get stuck near your entry signal. You get timed out when you hit neither the profit exit nor the stop loss. We'll continue our discussion of these stop losses in the next session.